Hello for writing today. Make sure you got your scissors, glue stick, your writing notebook, and uh, your two attachments. Uh, most importantly, this one that looks like this uh, printed out. Uh, all right. So today we're going to talk about how do personal narrative writers come up with their story ideas? Have you ever had a hard time deciding what to write about? Well, today we're going to learn a good strategy for coming up with those ideas for personal narrative stories. If we have good strategies for generating story topics, we won't waste our time and have to wonder what we're going to write. So we're going to read the story together. You can read it on the screen with me, or if you printed it off, you can read it there. Okay? A day of giving. Grandma has a tradition she calls a day of giving each year in November. She's always talking about it at Thanksgiving dinner. Last year, her special day happened to be the same day my parents had tickets to a football game and didn't get one for me. Grandma's day of giving turned into a joint effort between me and her. It'll be fun, Grandma said, probably because she saw the unsure look on my face as I greeted her at the door. Although my parents weren't leaving the house until 10 for the game, of course our day had to begin at 8 a.m. sharp. First things first, Grandma chirped. I need you to go through your room and collect all the things you don't use anymore, like toys and clothes. The day, oh, oh, yeah, there we go. The day continued like this, her barking orders at me and me going, doing, going along because I knew it was all for a good cause and because I couldn't say no to Grandma. We stopped by restaurants to pick up their old, day old bread. We donated clothes, toys, and food to the local homeless shelter. We picked up trash at our neighborhood park. Last, we were off to a place called Baby Barn. We're helping babies? I asked as we pulled into the parking lot of a large warehouse. Yes, but don't worry, you don't have to touch any, Grandma joked. A lady in a red Baby Barn shirt led us to our stations for the day. Grandma took what looked like her usual position, sifting through donated baby clothes. Since I was young and energetic, I got to be a runner. My job was to take the sorted clothes and put them in bins. There were hundreds of bins lined up on the shelves around the warehouse. The shelves were sorted by age, gender, and type of clothes. Shirt, shorts, shirts, jackets, shoes, etc. After an hour flew by, I dipped my hand into a bag sorted for four-year-old boys. I pulled out a green t-shirt with a large T-Rex on it. I recognized the shirt too from pictures of myself when I was a toddler. I peeked at the tag. Sure enough, my initials were there. Grandma, I said, this used to be my shirt. Your mom used to bring all of your old clothes here when you were smaller, Grandma explained. It looks like someone must have used it and brought it back again. Who was it? I asked. It must have been someone who needed it then but doesn't need it anymore. Grandma answered. The thought of multiple little boys getting to wear my t-shirt filled my heart with a warm feeling I didn't expect. Can we do this again sometime? I asked Grandma. Of course, she replied. So in this story, the author wrote about a person that was special to him, but he didn't just write a biography about himself. He didn't write a whole story about what he looks like, where he lives, and what his hobbies are. Personal narratives are not biographies. Instead, he wrote about a special memory that he shares with this person. He wrote about something he did with this person. The author is still a main character, and we know that personal narratives are stories we write about ourselves. One way that authors generate ideas is to brainstorm memories that they have with a person who is special to them. Let me show you how. So let's take a look at this. I got just a circle to get started with. I'm going to pull up. Oh, maybe once my page loads. Uh, there it is. Uh, all right, so we're going to start with the circle. Actually, I'm going to change to this one because it's a little better. All right, so I am going to put someone special in the middle. I'm going to put my sister. Now, I'm going to draw four lines coming off of this. 
So I might want to be more specific. I might want to say my sister, Allison. That's supposed to be an A. All right. Now I'm thinking about activities that I've done with my sister. So things I've done with my sister. Oh, I love when we um, bake, uh, baked um, molasses cookies. We invented the recipe, so that was a, a good time. Another time, we went to the um, MLB, the Major League Baseball, All-Star Game. When that was at Target Field a long time ago, we went to that game. Something else that we've done, I really enjoyed when we went looking for my and hers, but I'm thinking my wedding dress shopping. That was so much fun to pick out my wedding dress with my sister. And another memory that I have with my sister. Hmm, something that we've done. I love when, um, sometimes they take a little while and that's okay. Let's see, something done. Hmm. I really love when um, we watched all of the Halloween. Town movies. We had a marathon one day where we watched all the Halloween Town movies. So that is a starting idea. I have my one special person, and I was thinking about different I, things that we've done together, different memories that we have. Now we're going to do ours in our notebook. So find this page. And they cut it out and glue it into your resource section if you haven't already. Resource section. All right. So now we're going to think of uh, someone else. So we're going to do one kind of all together so we can see what the ideas uh, are. Okay. So we're thinking about our... Ooh, that's a little big. That's okay. I'll change it. Our memories with someone special. memories with someone special. Now, let's say I'm going to do, I'm going to put my sister again, my sister, Allison. And I'm going to put my four memories that I just thought of. So baking molasses cookies. And I'm probably going to want to change my font size for this one. Hi, baking molasses cookies. All right. Then I said when we went to the MLB All-Star game. My third one I thought of was my wedding dress shopping I'm going to look for my wedding dress and my last one was uh, watching all of the Halloween Town movies do you see how these are like events or memories I remember doing these things ignore this side we're going to come back and do this tomorrow so we have our special ideas with somebody, okay? So for your work time today, your work time today, you have a timer attached to your Google Classroom assignment. You're gonna make different graphic organizers in your resource section right after that next page after you glue this on. You're gonna do it the same way that I did over here, we're going to draw that circle, okay? 
So you're going to brainstorm different activities you've done with special people. You're going to start with just one person. And think of those four activities, four memories with that one person. If you have more time, like your time's not up and you do it and it only takes you five minutes, do another one. Do another person. Or maybe it's the same person. You have more memories. Okay? You're going to keep working on this for the whole 15 minutes. That's my challenge for you. How many different people can you write down? How many different memories can you think of? You might not have them right away. Like I didn't have that last one. But try and use that whole time. Don't just sit there and go, mm, all 15 minutes are up. Okay? That's what you're going to do. Then, after, let me know in the private comments which uh, um, topic or which memory you're most excited to write about today. That's all we got for writing. Thanks for joining.